The Sahara Desert, the world's largest hot desert, a place of endless sand and arid plains. It's a land of mystery and mystique, where the relentless sun and shifting dunes have defined its reputation for millennia. For centuries, adventurers and explorers have ventured into this unforgiving wilderness, drawn by its enigmatic allure. But what if we told you that the Sahara is not what we thought it was? Scientists have made astonishing discoveries that challenge everything we knew about this iconic desert. Introduction to Sahara Desert This colossal desert sprawls across ten sovereign nations. Algeria, Chad, Egypt, Libya, Mali, Mauritania, Morocco, Niger, Sudan, and Tunisia. Its reach extends from the eastern shores of the Red Sea to the farthest western reaches of the Atlantic Ocean and from the northern coastlines of the Mediterranean Sea to the southern fringes that border the Sahel region. Despite its harsh and parched conditions, the Sahara boasts a remarkable array of biodiversity. According to the World Wildlife Fund, this desert serves as a habitat for over 500 unique plant species. 70 distinct animal species, 90 diverse bird species, a hundred species of reptiles, and an assortment of spiders, scorpions, and other diminutive arachnids. Over the period of time, a large amount of profound revelations have materialized amidst the vast expanse of the Sahara Desert, casting doubt upon long-held convictions about this enigmatic terrain. The Ancient Mega Lake. A long, long time ago, about 250,000 years back, something incredible happened in the Sahara Desert. The Nile River carved out a huge lake that covered a massive area, even bigger than some countries today, around 42,000 square miles. Thanks to geologists and radar data, we know about this hidden ancient lake hidden beneath the desert sands. Deep below the dry surface, there's a secret oasis that gets water from an old underground source. This water makes it possible for juicy melons to grow there today. And imagine this. There are traces of old fish fossils about 250 miles away from where the Nile flows today, marking the edges of that ancient lake. This lake formed when the Nile River used to flow into a valley called Kasiba Tushka, creating this gigantic body of water. Archaeologists have found evidence of people living around this ancient lake, giving us a glimpse into what life was like back then. There might have been another big lake, even larger at 18,600 square miles, situated 623 feet above sea level, connected to something called the Tusca Canal. These discoveries are like bright flashlights shining on the history of North Africa, showing us how things were way back when, and maybe even how our ancestors moved around this fascinating land. It's like piecing together an ancient puzzle. Lost Fortresses With the help of satellites, modern explorers can now unveil hidden wonders from their own homes. In 2010, a groundbreaking discovery was made when satellites revealed more than a hundred fortresses, a testament to Libya's ancient Garamantes civilization. The oil industry had already mapped this area, and archaeologists used these satellite images to find the telltale signs of ancient walls. On-site researchers later confirmed that these impressive structures were indeed crafted by the Garamantes. Unfortunately, their explorations were cut short by Libya's revolution. Back when the Garamantes thrived, from around the 2nd century BC to the 7th century AD, their land was incredibly dry. To make the most of their arid surroundings, they cleverly built underground channels to collect water from ancient reservoirs. When this water supply eventually ran out, the once green fields turned dry, and the unforgiving Sahara Desert covered up the remains of the once mighty fortresses and villages. It's a fascinating glimpse into a civilization's ingenious adaptations to their environment. Meteorites and Craters Throughout Earth's history, 
It has endured a relentless barrage of rocks and meteorites hurtling in from the depths of outer space. The majority of these cosmic interlopers meet their fiery demise as they plunge through the atmosphere, leaving behind nothing more than a fleeting streak of brilliance across the night sky. However, some prove to be far more tenacious, managing to breach the terrestrial realm, resulting in cataclysmic consequences. The evidence of these ancient impacts is often concealed from our gaze, buried beneath layers of erosion or the relentless encroachment of vegetation. In this enduring battle between time and nature, it is the deserts that reveal the scars of these celestial encounters. One such testament to the cosmos's might is the remarkable Kamal Crater, measuring a substantial 45 meters in diameter, equivalent to 148 feet, nestled in the arid expanse of southwestern Egypt. This geological feature serves as an unmistakable marker of a fateful event that transpired approximately 5,000 years ago when an iron meteorite collided with the Earth's surface. Yet it is not solely the craters themselves that bear witness to these cosmic collisions. In the vicinity of the Kamil crater, fragments of the meteorite responsible for the impact have been unearthed, remnants of the celestial intruder shattered upon impact and scattered across the unforgiving desert sands. Astonishingly, this discovery is not an isolated incident. A significant portion, nearly a fifth, of all meteorites ever retrieved by humanity originate from the Sahara Desert. This unusual prevalence can be attributed to the unique conditions of the desert, where meteorites conspicuously stand out, often lying in plain sight, waiting to be discovered. It is second only to the pristine snowscapes of Antarctica as the premier hunting ground for those in pursuit of these extraterrestrial relics. P-40 Kitty Hawk In the Sahara Desert, on June 28, 1942, an intriguing chapter unfolded. A flight sergeant, tasked with transporting a wounded P-40 Kitty Hawk to a British airbase, found himself in a bewildering situation. During the flight, a mysterious event occurred, altering both the aircraft and the pilot. This captivating story remained unknown until 2012, when an oil worker stumbled upon the remarkably preserved wreckage. Surprisingly, the plane was intact, and signs suggested a parachute was used for an improvised shelter. This discovery led to the relocation of the aircraft to the renowned A.L. Almain Museum, sparking controversy. Some argued it should have remained a tribute to the brave pilot, while others criticized the museum's restoration efforts, claiming it resembled a poorly adorned model. The pilot's fate remains a perplexing mystery. No traces of him were found, adding to the enigma of this captivating tale. Indeed, the story of this aircraft and its pilot continues to baffle, inviting speculation and contemplation. Napta Stones the Nabta stones, believed to date back to around 7,000 to 6,000 years ago, predate the construction of the Egyptian pyramids by centuries. These mysterious stones, arranged in various patterns and alignments across a vast area, were first discovered in the 1970s by a team of archaeologists led by Dr. Fred Wendorf. What makes the Nabta stones truly remarkable is not just their antiquity, but the intricate knowledge of astronomy and the natural world that they seem to represent. The stones themselves vary in size, with some standing as tall as three meters and weighing several tons. They are arranged in circles, alignments and clusters, suggesting a deliberate and purposeful arrangement Perhaps the most striking feature of the Nabta stones is their celestial significance. Some of the stones are aligned with remarkable precision to mark the solstices and other celestial events. This raises the question of whether the ancient people who created these structures had a sophisticated understanding of astronomy, seasons, and the movements of the stars. 
The significance of the Nabta stones extends beyond their physical presence in the desert. They challenge our understanding of the development of human civilization and the role of ancient Africa in shaping the course of history. The people who constructed these megaliths may have been among the pioneers of early astronomy and agricultural practices, contributing to the foundation of later civilizations in Egypt and beyond. The Lost City of Zerzura The Lost City of Zerzura, also known as the Oasis of Zerzura or the White Oasis, is a legend that has woven its way into the very fabric of the Sahara Desert's mystique. This enigmatic city has captured the collective imagination of adventurers, historians, and explorers for generations, painting an image of an elusive paradise nestled somewhere amid the unforgiving expanse of sand and sun. The allure of Zerzura isn't merely confined to tales of unimaginable wealth, it's equally about the enduring aura of intrigue that envelops it. Drenched in the rich tapestry of ancient Arabian legends and Berber folklore, Zerzura emerges as a city beyond imagination. It's described as a place of unparalleled beauty, boasting gleaming white walls that glisten like precious gems in the relentless desert heat. As the stories go, Zerzura stands as a verdant oasis where lush palm trees sway, cool lakes shimmer, and lush gardens flourish in stark contrast to the harsh desert surroundings. Yet, what truly fuels the legends are the whispers of untold riches concealed within the city's fortifications. Some tales even spin dreams of streets paved with gold, where the inhabitants enjoy eternal youth and boundless prosperity. These tales, passed down through generations, have become ingrained in the lore of various cultures and civilizations. Countless adventurers have embarked on perilous journeys into the Sahara, lured by the promise of wealth and the irresistible allure of uncovering Zerzura's puzzle. However, the city has remained elusive, evading discovery despite the unwavering determination of numerous expeditions. While skeptics may dismiss the lost city of Zerzura as a mere figment of the collective imagination or a tantalizing mirage, there persists a steadfast belief in its existence. For many, Zerzura symbolizes the enduring mysteries concealed within the heart of the Sahara Desert. Whether it stands as a tangible reality awaiting discovery or serves as a captivating myth that ignites the flames of curiosity, the legend of Zerzura continues to beckon adventurers and dreamers. It offers a tantalizing glimpse into the uncharted depths of the desert and the timeless fascination with secrets hidden beneath its shifting sands. Spinosaurus. Continuing the narrative of remarkable discoveries in desert landscapes, we turn our attention to the awe-inspiring Spinosaurus, the largest carnivorous dinosaur ever to grace our planet. This magnificent creature thrived approximately 95 million years ago and was known by the scientific name Spinosaurus aegyptiacus. Its imposing stature reached an impressive seven meters in height, towering over the more familiar Tyrannosaurus rex. While measuring a colossal 16 meters in length, a feat that eclipsed its better-known rival. Distinct from its renowned counterpart, Spinosaurus possessed a distinctive appearance and lifestyle. Its most distinctive feature was a towering sail composed of protruding bones that adorned its back, accompanied by a host of other adaptations that have confounded scientists throughout the ages. It is now widely believed that Spinosaurus stands as the sole known example of a truly semi-aquatic dinosaur. The saga of Spinosaurus took an intriguing turn due to the vicissitudes of history. The original bones of this magnificent creature were tragically obliterated during the tumultuous events of World War II. It wasn't until a subsequent discovery of fossils in the arid terrain of Morocco that researchers were granted the opportunity to unravel the enigma of Spinosaurus. 
Among the compelling evidence supporting the notion that Spinosaurus was a semi-aquatic denizen are its elongated, paddle-like feet, perfectly adapted for propelling through water, and the positioning of its nostrils high on its snout, affording the ability to draw breath even while partially submerged. Contemplating the sight of this colossal sail-backed predator approaching would undoubtedly have sent shivers down the spines of ancient denizens of waterways, reminiscent of the unease we experience today when we encounter the dorsal fin of a shark slicing through the ocean's depths. The Chunk of Protoplanet Astonishingly, within the Saharan expanse, scientists have stumbled upon a fragment of a protoplanet, far more ancient than our own Earth, a testament to the enduring mystique of the desert. In the spring of 2020, an exceptionally rare remnant of an embryonic planet was discovered in a remote part of the Sahara Desert. This meteorite, named Herb Chex 002, EC002, developed beneath the surface of a long-extinct protoplanet, which is a small celestial object that played a crucial role in the formation of four planets. This volcanic space rock is the oldest known lava to have ever fallen to Earth, offering a unique and unparalleled glimpse into the early stages of planetary formation in our solar system. Scientists from the University of Western Brittany, led by researchers from Francis University, seized the opportunity to study this massive time capsule from the early solar system. EC002 belongs to the enigmatic and rare group of volcanic rocks known as the End Acidic family, and its composition sets it apart from any other known meteorites. This extraordinary discovery promises to provide invaluable insights into the processes that shaped our solar system billions of years ago. Yen Ali Barat, the geochemist at the University of West Brittany, conducted ground-breaking research and expressed his awe at a meteorite he recently studied. He remarked that this meteorite is arguably the most stunning one he has ever seen in his more than 20 years of studying meteorites. After acquiring meteorite samples, Barat and his colleagues made significant discoveries about its origin. According to their research, they established that this portion of protoplanet crust had partly melted and then solidified into a solid form. The age of the rock was determined through magnesium and aluminum isotope analysis, revealing that it is approximately 4,566 billion years old. This makes it the oldest known slice of an igneous crust ever unearthed. For reference, the meteorite named ECA002 is approximately 1.24 million years younger than the next, oldest igneous meteorite. NOA-1119. It's worth noting that these rocks formed several million years before the genesis of Earth. The Atlantis Connection. The connection between the Sahara Desert and the lost city of Atlantis, as suggested by some researchers, is indeed a fascinating and controversial topic. The Eye of the Sahara also known as the Rishat structure, is a unique geological formation located in the Sahara Desert that has captured the curiosity of scientists and enthusiasts alike. As you mentioned, the Rishat structure is a massive bullseye-shaped feature that spans a 40-kilometer region in the desert. It was initially believed to be a result of a celestial impact, but subsequent research has shown that it is a natural geological dome of Earth-based origin. The rocks within the structure are estimated to be around 100 million years old, and it contains various types of stones. The idea that the Rishat structure could be the location of Atlantis is primarily based on its size and shape, which matches some descriptions provided by Plato in his dialogues. 
Plato's account of Atlantis described a large, circular city surrounded by concentric rings of water and land, and the Rishate structure's appearance has been cited as resembling this description. Additionally, the alignment of geographical features, such as mountains and rivers, in the region around the Risha structure, has been compared to Plato's descriptions of Atlantis. Some researchers have also pointed to the discovery of distinct clay pottery in the area, suggesting the presence of an ancient culture different from the Egyptians along the Nile. It's important to note that this theory remains highly speculative -y, and the connection between the rich at structure and Atlantis is far from proven. Atlantis, as described by Plato, has been the subject of various interpretations and theories over the centuries, and its actual existence remains a matter of debate among scholars and researchers. Further exploration and research in the Sahara Desert and the Rishat structure are necessary to gain a better understanding of this intriguing geological feature and its potential historical significance. Until then, the idea that it could be linked to the lost city of Atlantis remains a captivating yet unconfirmed hypothesis. The Strange Ancient Crocodiles Paleontologists conducting research in Tunisia have made a remarkable discovery. The world's largest sea-dwelling crocodile, previously unknown to science. This ancient crocodile, named Machimosaurus rex, is estimated to have measured more than 30 feet in length and weighed a staggering three tons. Its skull alone measures over five feet in length. Lead author Federico Fanti from the University of Bologna described it as massive, almost comparable in size to a bus. These extraordinary fossils were found buried just a few inches beneath the surface in the Sahara Desert, particularly in an area known for its rich fossil deposits. The National Geographic Society Committee of Research and Exploration assisted in the excavation. This region was likely once a lagoon facing the ocean, as evidenced by the discovery of fish and turtle, remains that researchers are currently working to identify. Machimosaurus rex is believed to have been a water-dwelling predator, possibly an ambush predator or scavenger. Comparing M. rex to other crocodile species with large heads and small teeth, it's clear that it possessed an incredibly powerful bite, enabling it to crush its prey. Turtles, for instance, would have been a delectable meal for this enormous crocodile. What makes this discovery even more significant is its impact on our understanding of ancient life. The Machmosaurus group, to which M. rex belongs, was previously believed to have gone extinct approximately 150 million years ago, shortly after the Jurassic period. However, this finding challenges that assumption, as M. rex thrived around 130 million years ago. It joins three other crocodile species with snouts and characteristics similar to modern-day animals, each of which has garnered its own unique nickname. This discovery not only sheds light on the astonishing diversity of prehistoric creatures, but also prompts scientists to reevaluate their assumptions about the timelines and extinctions of ancient species. Remember, our planet is full of mysteries, and it's up to us to keep exploring and understanding the wonders that surround us. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more eye-opening discoveries. Thanks for joining us, and until next time, keep on exploring.